What is a common misconception the general public gets wrong about real estate agents? This one's easy for me. It's that all real estate agents make boatloads of money. As a matter of fact, in 2021, the National Association of Realtors did a study that stated that agents with 16 years or more experience made $75,000 in 2021. That's not a lot of money for somebody who's been practicing their craft for 16 years. Now you take that number down to the average agent who had two years or less experience and the average income was $8,500. Now that explains why most agents fall out of the business within the first two to five years. Again, according to the National Association of Realtors, 87% of agents who begin real estate fall out within the first two to five years. That's a huge number and it's not because they're making boatloads of money. Do you need to be pre-qualified before you go out and look at homes? Absolutely. Looking at homes without a pre-qualification is a no-wake zone. Can you pay one lump sum on your mortgage and lower your monthly mortgage note? The answer to that question is no, it will not change the mortgage note uh, monthly unless you were to refinance that house you know in your situation that may make sense that's something you would want to talk with your lender over or your financial advisor to see if the costs associated with that are going to work for you but it would lower what you're paying interest on each month uh, which is going to make a significant difference for you Is real estate a fun job? For me, the answer is yes. You know, today I'm out here sitting by the water, eating my lunch, and answering a few questions that you guys sent in. So I have no complaints. Uh, but there are days where I have to let people know that the closing that we have scheduled now isn't going to happen, or the money that they paid for a home inspection is going down the drain because that home had numerous issues and we're not going to be able to close on it now, or the house that they're planning on closing on in two weeks is no longer going to be theirs because their lender just called and they found something on their credit history or their job history that wasn't satisfying to them and now that loan can't be granted. So there are plenty of down days in real estate, but I'm here to tell you 99% of my days are great and I couldn't see myself doing anything else. I absolutely love it. How do you determine how much home you can afford? The short answer to this is get with your mortgage professional and get a pre-qualification, which is going to let you know your maximum budget amount. However, if you are looking at the top of that budget, say $200,000, and you look at a home that's $200,000, we've gotta be careful now because if the taxes and the insurance are high on that property, it could get your debt to income ratio out of whack, possibly making it to where you cannot qualify for that home. So as you're getting closer to the top of your budget, be very, very weary of homes that have high taxes, high insurance, or possibly require flood insurance. Get with your agent, they'll be able to educate you on what to look for, and be sure to talk with your mortgage professionals to get qualified and understand exactly what your purchasing power is. What is a due diligence period? Due diligence is the time stipulated in a contract which allows the buyer to handle any inspections or cross any bridges that may need to be crossed prior to them purchasing the property. Maybe they want to use that home as a salon and they need to get a variance from the city. Maybe you have a contingency in your contract that it is contingent on the property being able to be used in that manner. If you find out that it's not, you could back out of your contract and receive your earnest money back during your due diligence period. Be sure when you enter into a contract to know what that due diligence period is and make sure that you do everything that's needed to be done in that time to protect yourself and your earnest money. I hope that helps y'all. What is escrow? Escrow is simply the period where a third party holds on to the earnest money until all contingencies within the contract are satisfied. Once all contingencies are satisfied, you will move forward to a closing date, and at the close of escrow, the buyer gets the keys to their home, the seller gets their check, 
everybody's happy. Escrow is simply just a waiting period between the purchase agreement being signed and the closing documents being signed. That is escrow.